Good morning, guys. Good to be back with you guys. Uh, great job, Scott, getting us started in Deuteronomy this month, man. Guys, don't you just love to hear Scott, Joey, and Brian share their grips with us? I know I do. Look, if you're not gripping God's Word, get started today. It's, a, it's never too late to start, and it's just a great way to study God's Word, guys. Let's get started this morning. My title, God, Creator of All, Chose Me and Loves Me. My G today, guys, God's words, Deuteronomy 7, verses 6, 8, and 9. Here we go. Verse 6, For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. Verse 8, But it was because the Lord loved you and kept the oath he swore to your forefathers that he brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the land of slavery, from the power of the king of Egypt. Know, therefore, that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenants of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commands. My reveal, guys, God chose me. God loved me. God redeemed me. God is good. God is faithful. God keeps his promises. Wow, what a great God that we serve. When all else, else fails, I have to trust God in all things, guys. I can trust God always to be there for me. It is amazing how consistent God is. We see what he did for the Israelites. Jesus did the same thing for us. He is Jesus, Lord of all. Jesus, Lord of me, a sinner. Jesus loved us all. Jesus is faithful. Jesus keeps his promises. Woo! What consistency. Jesus walked up that hill, got on that cross, died for my sin, guys. Walking out of that tomb. Wow. Wow. Thank goodness for the resurrection. Amen and amen. My implementation today, guys. I must love God and Jesus because of their plans and execution of those plans for me. I can trust the promises of God and Jesus because they do what they say. I must stay in God's word and walk it out every day and to the end. Not just reading his word, guys, but studying them deeply and putting them into action. I'm closing my implementation day with a couple verses from James in the, in the New uh, Century Version, the fifth grade level, I like to call it for you Wednesday night guys out there. Chapter 1, verse, I mean, ch you know, chapter one verse 17. Every good action and every perfect gift is from God. These good gifts come down from the Creator of the sun, the moon, and the stars who does not change like the shifting shadows of those three big, uh, bodies. That's right. God and Jesus do not change. James 5, 8, NIV 84 version. You too, be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. My prayer, Lord, thank you for your promises. Thank you for your consistency. Just thank you for saving a sinner like me, Lord. Thank you so much for Jesus Christ and what he did on that cross and walked out of that tomb. And we just thank you so for me. Help me to walk it out every day in a way that's pleasing to you. Just ask you to be with these guys listening in on the video today, man, and just help them to walk it out in a way that pleases you also. For us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. God and Jesus are solid, man. Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? If so, great. Stand firm to the end, guys. If not, why not, guys? Study and accept Jesus. If you want to talk to us, give us a call, man. We'd love to talk to you about accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Let me pray us out. Heavenly Father, again, thank you for these verses in Deuteronomy. Thank you for showing how consistent you are and what a good God you are. The creator of everything chose us. The guys on this call, me, Scott, Brian, Joey, you chose us, man, and we thank you for that. Just thank you for your gifts that you give us, the promises you give us, and 
the biggest promise that you gave us, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We thank you for them. Just be with the guys today. Help them to be the leaders and the families that they need to be. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.